Hi guys, Cam back here, and yes, yes, we're back in the Battler workshop today. Um, I did a recent repair you would have seen on a video for a camshaft, and that was a dry pin for the timing belt that um, had uh, deformed, and we're looking at a better way of doing that job. And part of that job was to remove that pin, and uh, as you saw, I tried a couple of methods. One was to lock the pin in the uh, in a vise, and then use a uh, a, um, a copper or a, a brass drift to try and knock the camshaft back to try and extract that pin out but um, it was in too tight and wouldn't move and we ended up doing a, uh, a, uh, a threaded um, hole down inside that that, uh, that pin and then extracting it with, uh, with a bridge extractor and, and popping it out that way. But um, one of the viewers commented, that was Anthony, he was the job, bloke I actually did the job for, that uh, he had seen drilling a hole through the pin and then filling it with grease and then using a pin punch to actually apply hydraulic pressure to pop the pin out. Now I have seen that method used on bearings, um, where uh, bearings are down inside a, a deep bore and you're unable to get access to that, um, to that inner ring to be able to put a stick weld in it to shrink it. Um, the old fitter that I saw had uh, made up a drift, used some grease, popped it down inside and it's the hydraulic press, actually used the press to push down and it popped the, uh, that, that out of race up out of its seat and we're able to take that out. Now I've never used that method before, as I said I've only seen it. But what I'd like to do is I'm going to make up a, um, a, 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 a hole in a, a bit of steel. We'll make up a pin, we'll punch it in, and then we'll do a job where we can drill it and we'll see if we can extract it. One of the things you're looking at when you're doing problem solving like this is you look at different plans that you can put into place, A, B, C, or D. I call it dominoing. But it's important when you put plans in place that one plan doesn't affect the next plan down the track and you end up you've got nowhere to go. So in this particular case, this particular method would have been ideal and that we could have put the hole down, tried using the grease as a medium with hydraulic pressure to pop the pin out, and if that didn't work, we still had the option of drilling it out and then tapping it again. So just another thing to throw into the mix there. As I said, we're gonna make up a little trial on this and we're gonna see how that goes. So um, be interested to see if it works out. Just one other thing, um, I did receive a sticker from Craig Marshall from Craig's workshop. And Craig's down in Tasmania. He's got a, uh, a great little channel and uh, he was like me, beginning out. And I often find looking at blokes that are in that beginning stages or who aren't the traditional type machinist, have got some really great ideas. John Mills springs to mind off Double Boost. And you can look at the big channels, you know, Keith Ruckers and the Adam Booths, and they've got everything under the sun that handles any situation. But in our smaller workshops here, sometimes we have to adapt a lot more. And Craig's a typical example of that, where you're using simple techniques, using the gear that you have on hand to get a job done. So Craig does that fantastically. So I'll leave a link down in the description to, to Craig's channel. So please get along and uh, have a look at him and, uh, and please support him. Um, super nice bloke. All right, guys, we'll get onto the lathe and uh, We'll make these little dummy pieces up and we'll see how we go with this uh, this little pin extract it'll be interesting all right guys we'll see you in a tick all right guys so here's our setup so i've drilled and rammed out a hole to eight millimeters and i've made up a pin i've made that 0.025 up on size so it's exactly the same tolerances as the pin that we were working with on that uh, camshaft so i'm going to punch this in and we're going to drill through by hand. I'll set that up in the vise. We'll pop a hole all the way through. Then we'll get some grease, pop it in there. We'll try and use a pin punch or similar to, uh, to try and get it popped out. So let's pop this in first. So that's it at home. Obviously it goes in a lot easier when you're on a, a steel dolly, but I, I certainly didn't want to do that with the camshaft. Wouldn't have that on wood. So that's in there pretty tight. All right, let's head over to the bench on the vise and uh, we'll set up, drill that through to uh, sort of pin punch and we'll see if we can't try and get that extracted out using uh, hydraulic pressure and see how it goes. Right, I'm gonna use a, a one pin punch We'll see how we go with that. So I'm going to drill this out at 3 mil and then we'll drill through it at 1 8. So we'll get this opened up 
And as I said, we'll do this exactly as it would be well, as close as we can to being in the field. Let's see how we go, right? down past the flutes now guys and I guess this is real life so we're just going to eat away at it and clear the uh, the flutes out as we go until we uh, until we hit through the bottom all right so we've just broken through the bottom so now I'm going to go through the 1 8 drill and we'll open that up ready for our, for our pin punch I'll fill it up with grease and we'll see what happens, eh? Alright, I reckon we're through there. A real tight fit, bit of a loose fit, but... We'll give it a go and see what happens, eh? Alright, we'll, uh, we'll set up for the next stage and get a bit of grease in there and see if we can't punch it out. Alright, so this is the tricky part, getting the grease in there, so <laughs> just got to be patient and make sure you expel as much of the air as you're pushing the grease in as you can. And I've got a, a smaller size drill here that I'm using to allow the air to pass up past it. As we just tamp that grease down. So I've been at this for nearly five minutes now. I'll look here at that for another couple of minutes. It's feeling like it's filling up now anyway. I'll bring you back and we're going to try and give it a thump. See if we can get it out. Alright guys, the grease was really, really hard to get in such a small hole. So I'm going to go with oil. And what I've found with the oil is just let it run down the side so that the air can escape while it's running down the hole. And if you block the hole up, you got a loose little air bubble out of it. Now, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen here is that oil is going to come squirting out on us. Let me go down in there, so... This is exactly what's happening there. So what I might do, I might try and make up a little plug out of a matchstick or something just to plug that hole up and uh, see if we can't get it moving with that. I'll just fill it up with oil again. Right, I'm going to make up a little matchstick plug and we'll jam it down inside there and hope that'll take up the gap and swell and we'll see if uh, we can get it to punch out that way. Alright guys, I'm going to be a cheat here. All the way in. We're going to prove the concept before we do anything. Just to see if this is actually going to work. Right, that's full. So we'll pop this over here. And I've machined up a little tiny tail and plunger we're going to put in there. And we're going to try. We're going to try and punch it out with that little Derelin plunger in front of it. Do you think it's going to work, Danny? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? Come on, a bit of faith, young man. We'll get this started first. It's windy. Mm, it is a bit, mate. I'm going to this is going to work. I'm going to try and get it in there first, don't I? I'm going to get my little hammer, mate. What is that? It's a little plunger, Dan. So, I'm going to try...
What, what will that do? Well, I'm going to try and punch it out. All right, guys, I'm just readjusting the camera, so we're going to do this over the back. Excuse me, Danny. All right, <laughs> let's give it a go and see if it will pop out, eh? <laughs> Look at that, Danny. It is. That is coming up and out. Well, I never doubted you for a second. Come here, Dan. Lucy, you don't mind. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to go and machine up another little plunger and we'll jam that in there and we'll have another go. Alright, let's, uh, let's give that a go. Alright, we've got our next little plunger ready to go. Let's see how I go with my fat fingers. Yep, she's still coming out. I'm going to make up one more and uh, we'll see if we can get it out the rest of the way. Alright guys, just going to make up another one of these little uh, these little plunger bushes. Um, the whole size was um, 3.2 millimetres and I make these up at about uh, 3.5, so that's about 12 thou up on diameter. And look, realistically, if you go down to your hardware store and get yourself a bit of um, quarter inch dowel and just use a little bit of wood to make up your plungers and I think that would work perfectly well. But uh, I just had the Daryl on hand, so we're, we're, we're using that. Right, 3.5, so that's spot on. What I then do just follow a very short lead in on it. This might be a bit hard with the camera. So here we go. And then just with a hacksaw. again. That's focused up but there it is just our, our little plunger made all up. So I just machined up a stick of these and just cut them off and it's really really quick. Probably make up um, before you actually start, make up um, four or five before you start and have them on hand ready to go. But uh, yeah, we'll get out there and uh, we'll pop this one in and I'll we'll see if we get a bit further. Next little one. Huh? Probably going to be one more. So it an oil takes a bit of a knack, but once you've got it, there we go. All right, back in a tick with another one. Mm -hmm. Can I get one more? Hey, there you go. Let's come out. The hole wasn't real straight, was it, when it came through the bottom? But anyway, so look, that's another method of getting dowels out. And I guess that if you had a critical piece of gear, 
that you weren't able to get a bridging piece on and you wanted to get that in one piece and not damage the uh, the outer part this is an ideal way to go obviously you've got to machine up some little derelin plungers to go in there I just machined up a little stick of those and just cut them off as I needed them so it was very very quick really quick actually but now I had that that dowel pin in there I had a lot of force you saw me pound that in pretty hard with that um, with that brass dolly but using that hydraulic pressure from the oil and just making up some little plungers using some um, delrin you could have used plastic you could have used anything could have even used a bit of wood a little bit of wood and just uh, turned it down so it was a, a tight fit inside there and, and used that as a plunger but uh, I'm wrapped with that all right Anthony it does work mate not exactly as I planned as I said I, we, we couldn't get the grease in there really easy we have to look at another method that you could actually get the grease injected down the bottom so it fills from the bottom as it goes through but um, as I said just using the oil and uh, making up those little derrill and plungers and using the pin punch it uh, pulled out a very very tight dowel all right guys thanks for that um, happy with that little, uh, that little experiment it worked well all right we'll see you soon